thanks for watching this video my name is Sadeep uh, this video is about uh, this video demo is about integrating Google Drive files and folders and bulk import it into a cloud-based application that we have built using single page application as a logic we have used angular JS and bootstrap the purpose of this demo is to show you how we can load files into a Google Drive with access rights and import that into an application by one click the technologies that we have used is uh, AngularJS, boot, uh, Bootstrap, Backbone.js, Google App Engine, and Google Cloud for hosting this application, the SBA application. We have used MySQL database. It's a completely responsive application which is ready for uh, multi-screen and the scalability is not an issue because of the Google Power Cloud. During this demo, we will look into two specific actions. One action is from an administrator. Administrator will create or edit a PR officer and allocate him a specific folder on Google Drive. It's a shared Google Drive file with the application using OAuth2. Uh, the PR officer, the user that we have created, later on will log in into the secure uh, login using his secure access into the portal look at the images the information that is available to him import it and then modify the information okay so let me jump straight into the administrator control panel this is the administrator control panel that we have got for the for the application that we have built it has got this is the dashboard a very quick look on uh, or how, how it looks like and what it is. It has got uh, multiple options for PR officer, clients, and then other market related information, personal information. For the purpose of this demo, our primary focus is to uh, show you by creating one user and then giving him access to that particular file. So I've clicked on add a new PR officer, and rather than entering all this information, I'd go back and modify one of the uh, one of the account so let me log in here click on add it and uh, just select one of the file which is uh, available for him so let's say if I go here and these are the folders that I've got created so I'll create a new folder called Lee Clark I'll just make it Lee dot Clark and in this lead.clock, I'll create a batch or folder which is called and I'm uploading all my uh, all the stuff that I wanted to upload into this mirrored furniture folder okay uh, I have uh, got a copy of uh, 54 files which I'm uploading it so now what I did is I've created a folder into a, my root folder I've called it Lee Clock and it created a batch that I want to import into my application called mirror furniture these are uh, 54 files it's not huge in size uh, they are small files so uh, by the time we are looking into the other section it will be all updated so I've edited this folder and I've clicked on modify I've just refresh the page when I'm refreshing the page what I would expect to see is inside at this particular level of root there is a new folder called Lee Clark which has just been created I've allocated this user Lee okay I've allocated this user Lee access to Lee Clark folder so everything which is now uh, inside this folder will be accessible when Lee logs in so let me scroll down click on save changes changes has been saved successfully and uh, let me now log in as user Lee so I've logged in as Lee password and clicked on login so once I'm in now you can see the difference between two dashboards so one dashboard has got uh, a lot more functionality so it have got PR officers so this is the administrator section here yeah? they have got more functions to be uh, more functions accessible for him whereas when Lee logs in all he can see is his dashboard his clients which is a one lower uh, one level lower than him 
and then batches. So when I click on batches as Lee, what I can see is I can see this one folder called mirrored furniture. Okay, let me click on that and click on explore. So what I'm doing is I'm logging into this folder and what, what everything that we were uploading over here should now, so this upload is completed. All these images we expect it to be coming up over here. So it's been uploaded straight away right now and they were not available uh, before. Okay, uh, just to give you a quick uh, demo on uh, a live feed, what I'll do is I'll go into uh, some another folder uh, which I've got uh, in my in my computer and uh, try to uh, try to input another set of uh, application just to give you a live uh, demo example that something which was not there is now uploaded. So what I'll do is I'll go into Black Mirror Furniture. And what it is is basically I've got these four files, which is at the moment are not available over here. Okay, so if I look into these files, it is not available. So none of the Black Mirror file are are here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll now select these files and load it here. Four files. Okay, so it has started uploading. One file is uploaded, second, third, and fourth. When I go here and uh, looked into mirrored furniture in this folder, now I expect those files to be here on a refresh. So when I refresh, so these files are not here right now. When I refresh, reload the page. If the file upload is completed, we would be able to see these files here. Okay, it's loading. What it is, is basically it is pulling out information on the fly from Google, directly from the Google Drive. So these are the four new files which we have just uploaded. Uh, three are uploaded. I believe the fourth one should be uploading now. It's just uploaded. So it will be there as well. Okay, so these are the four files which we have just uploaded. Let me click on one of the file to bring it into uh, to 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 upload it into my Google Drive storage, so the Google Cloud-based application, the one that we have created. I've clicked on these three files now, and uh, let me scroll down and click on these three files as well. So I've clicked on this file, I've clicked on this file, and I've clicked on this file. So while it is uploading, now you can see. When I've clicked on this one, the icon has been changed to an edit icon instead of a circle. So what, what it is, is basically these files are uploaded now into my Google Cloud Data Storage. So it has been imported. I've clicked on modify on one of the file, which was this. And now uh, what I can do is I can type in information about all these products. I can type it in into multiple languages as well, or depending on the market segment and whatever. There is the advantage or the one functionality which I wanted to show you is the bulk sync. You click on sync and all these images will be imported at one go. So that's specifically these, uh, this particular information that uh, this particular demo is where I wanted to show you how you can import all these functionality everything into uh, into, into from Google Drive into a folder for more information you can always reach me on uh, linkedin or you can email me on sudeep at infovinity.com as in like s-u-d-e-e-p -E at i-n-f-o-v-i-n-i-t-y or you can reach me on my uk mobile number which is plus four four seven four double one double seven six five oh nine thank you very much